Alright guys, so welcome back to another episode of... S I was just about to say City Skylines, I'm not sure why I was going to say that. Uh, <laughs> we haven't played that for a couple seasons now, I don't think. Um, going Medieval, that's what we're playing. I guess it, I guess it's kind of like because it's a city builder and I don't know. It just popped into my mind at that very moment. <laughs> Anyhow, uh, last episode what we were working on was the cellar. And we've been slowly moving things over to this area. What I want to do is I want to go ahead and export some of this, um, what do you call it, rough wine. And there's a whole bunch of that here uh, that we can basically transport to another settlement. And I'm hoping that it will give us a little bit of um, money for what we need to sell and stuff. Uh, so we can get some stone bricks. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the region and I'm, I know that these guys have stone bricks right now. So I'm going to send them over or send somebody over and I'm going to transport that rest of that wine. And let's see, we'll send this guy. I think they're pretty high in speechcraft, so we can probably get a good deal with that. Uh, we're going to keep the fine aged wine. I want to save that for our settlers ourselves. And we're going to go and ship out like 2,000 coins. That's pretty good. Um, let's see here. Where is it? Rough. It should be under rough wine. There we go. So I'm going to probably send out about, it's about $2 each, right? So we're doubling the profit, I guess, roughly. So I guess we could send out 400. We have enough uh, fine aged wine where it won't be too much of a problem. Uh, we're gonna need a donkey, I think, too. So I'll send that one, and then we need some food. Need to find the food. <laughs> Somewhere in here, we've got tons of it. That's not the issue. Honey sickles, that gives us how much nutrients? 85 okay okay so i'm gonna set these guys up and we'll send them out to um that settlement and hopefully we can get a good deal on some of the stuff but um that might take a little while to do uh we have a lot of seeds as well I, mean, I don't want to sell them until we have um some stuff planned out already for next season but uh we'll get over there now and then we'll
All right, so we're slowly puttering away at our basement. Uh, we still need to fill all this in. Uh, I'll probably fill that in last because I need to sort out where our foods and stuff are going. I need to make sure that any spoiled food are going into a location that's going to be used more um, quickly and uh, basically just kind of sort all this out. So what I was thinking was rather than have these on very high for the shelves and stuff like that, we'll drop that down to just high. And then over here we'll have very high, but we'll have the, um, what do you call it? The uh, hit points about 49, I guess. Just make sure that okay so it went to 48 so we'll try doing that again so I'll try 50 this time sometimes it drops one percent below i'm not sure why and now it's at 50. <laughs> okay we'll try that one more time i think it has to do with the um yeah that's what it's probably has to do with uh, if it's more towards on the side of uh, 50 then it will be more on 50 if it's kind of towards 49 <clears throat> it's obviously rounding the number to a, a specific thing so it's only dis displaying it as a visual thing i think uh, if it's around 49 percent, it should be fine but um just kind of frustrating because <laughs> it's like it will display 49 but i think it's somewhere within that 49 range but if it's um uh closer to 50 sometimes it drops a little bit below because it might be more on the 49 or the lower number side of things so it just rounds the number i think so that's fine but uh we need this to be around 49 and then what we'll do is we'll have um the uh, other stuff uh, allow it to be full and at a lower um, at, at just high so basically what this will do is it will make them put all the food and stuff over on this side and hopefully that will help uh, with a thing right uh, because it has a higher priority than the other ones so hopefully they'll the dogs and stuff will take it over but I'll just to make sure I'm just gonna make sure all of these are set up to high uh, manually but we're, we're making progress so I'm pretty happy with that make sure that I have them all selected hi and we are running a little bit low on food I noticed as well
Great. So we're slowly working away at filling this in. And we've been basically just getting this part uh, sorted out. Uh, most of our crops are already planted. Um, it really helps with having extra people gardening and stuff like that, that's for sure. So they started working on the barley now. And uh, they should be going to the seed vault. Which, uh, let's just double check to see if they're grabbing this. Not sure really if they're grabbing it or not but uh there is some here so maybe the dogs just refilled it uh, it's quite possible that they're grabbing it from the um thing there it looks like there's some traffic here that could have been for the um carrots though too right i don't know we'll, we'll keep an eye on it let's see where he's going he's going to pick up that Okay, so we'll keep an eye on where he's coming, going. Um, our kitchen is already established. So we have our kitchen up here and our dining room down below. Uh, I'm not sure if this is actually counting as a kitchen. No, it isn't. I'm not sure what the requirement is. Might require actually four of those things now. I'm not sure. Uh, let's go to here. And great hall, infirmary, somewhere in here, kitchen. So, no shrines. We shouldn't have shrines up here. Uh, or entertainment structures. Yeah, we shouldn't have um, either of those up here. I'm not sure what's counting as that. I'll have to take a look and see if there's anything up here. But I'm pretty sure there isn't. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything. Huh. That's weird. Okay. And no shrines or entertainment structures. So I'm not sure what's not counting. Uh, we require two pottery shelves. So that should be up here. Got one here, and then got the other one over there. And one stove. So yeah, we got that set up. That's weird. I'm not sure why it's not counting as a kitchen. Is the other one counting as a kitchen? Maybe it's because we have two of them. Uh, where's the other one? No, this one's counting as a spare room as well.
right, so we got the old dining room slash kitchen moved. Now, I did figure out why the uh, kitchen wasn't uh, being registered as a kitchen. It's because we don't have room for a butchering table. So uh, that's the problem. I had to split it up into two parts, and it requires a butchering, butchering table in order to do that. So what if, it's not going to have like too much of an impact on it, I don't think. Um, they're still cooking and stuff, so it's not a huge deal, really. Uh, the only difference is we don't get that extra speed boost or anything from it, but that's alright. Um, as far as the cellar, uh, we got all this part filled in. Uh, you can kind of see the outline still. There's this weird bug where it registers it as space that was a room up or something like that i'm not sure why but uh that part's directly underneath our area here so we can start removing the building finally and then we're going to start planning out that uh we might even want to uh move some of this stuff out of the way too i'm not sure if what i'm going to be doing with this just yet but um depending on how big we want our building we might want to move it but I'll keep that in mind when we're working on the layout and stuff. Uh, I'll probably be making a kind of like an L-shaped uh, structure, kind of like this or something, because our stairs goes down right here, right? So we can move it all the way over into this area. So we have a little bit more extra room uh, to fill this in. So as long as we make sure that we build directly down, we should be fine. Um, other than that, uh, we got the kitchen moved, we got um, everything moved from the, uh, the basement, we're ready to start uh, spring, and we got some crops planted, uh, they're still working on some of this stuff, and we got the, they're working on the flax right now, and then we got the um, herbs still to do as well, but that shouldn't take too, too long, uh, they're pulling things out of the nearest shelf, uh, that is worse quality. I have been watching them and they have been doing that. Uh, in some cases, if it's over in the seed area over here, then they'll grab it from there, but that's not too big of a d distance for them to travel. But outside of that, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, rate the video, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.